Hello guys, you're welcome once again and I said in the last video that from here henceforth we're going to be kicking off with the ionic aspect of it and in the first video we actually kind of ionic start a new project which we called face earth and I have this project already opened so what I'm going to do now is to serve this application and after serving this application we're going to be generating a couple of we're going to be generating a couple of um, pages that we are going to be using for this application. So the first page, while we are waiting for that to serve, is the first page. So open a new terminal. The first page we are going to create an G page. We're going to call this. All right. So this home page is going to serve as our login page. Okay. So we are going to create an G page. Register. Register. And basically, this is going to generate a register page for us. And we're also going to create, uh, okay, so we're also going to create another page, but this is going to be located inside of the user folder, and we are going to call this profile. All right, so once the user logs in, he just sees his profile. So Ionic G page, um, user slash profile, and now it's going to scaffold that page for us. And now once it has actually scaffolded that page for us, we are also going to get back to our, let me see if this is done. Alright, so I'll just pause this video, wait for it to serve, then we can continue generating other components. And now we are going to also be installing a couple of Cordova plugins. And the first one should be camera, so I'm going to go to Ionic for official box. And the first we are going to be getting is the camera. We're going to need the camera. We're going to need Ionic storage. Ah, Internet Explorer. Okay, so our application just served. So let me just open this. Uh, I don't know what port again that usually serves in. Ugh, let me check that here. So that we can quickly know. Okay, port 8100. So, local host. But 8100 and now application has served so just get that galaxy s5 should be good now let's just quickly go to native and we would need community additions and now we need camera so we are going to get this camera and cordova camera plugin now we are going to install that here. So first of all, we are going to install the Cordova camera plugin. So let's get back here and paste that in here. And after that, we are going to install the Ionic native wrapper. And we're also going to use Ionic storage. I can't even remember the particular. Let's, let's get that storage, yes. All right, so we are going to use Ionic storage next. So let's just be sure that this, all right, so it's still pulling through the resources. And we'll just wait for that. But while we wait for that, we will get the native wrapper, the Angular wrapper for this. And we're going to open a new tab. And get this, oh, we're gonna use Yarnod npm. So Yarnod, Ionic Native Camera. And that should pull out the dependencies that we need. And we are also going to use Ionic Storage. So first, if you like to use SQLite, it's a good SQLite storage plugin. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we are going to need to install this, both of them. We're going to need to add this Cordova plugin and then the native wrapper too. Cordova SQLI plugin. And let me get to package the JSON. All right, and let's see. Woo! So right in our package the JSON, Cordova plugin camera. And I don't know, sometimes installation of these Cordova plugins are really quick and other times they take some time. 
so we are also going to install ionic storage so let's just get that in here and we also need the native wrapper so I'm gonna use yarn not npm and um, yarn add and ionic storage missing list of packages to add to your project boom supposed to be at ionic storage that's the save yep all right so we're going to wait for all this to be downloaded so what i'm going to do now is to pause this video and then come back when they are all downloaded 